Dumb bitches don't know how to use InDesign? Learn how to format, you pussies! What are you, poor and stupid? Lame ass. Stupid idiot suck a dong. <laughs> this is absolutely the worst thing that could have happened to us ever. If Rent knows, then everyone knows. Bro, our lives are fucking over. I know. I fucking know. And you know what? It's not even our fault. Like, half the people fake their season passes too. We just got unlucky. Six Flags is a pyramid scheme and we were just standing up for ourselves. I know. Like, I'm not gonna spend $109.99 for a season pass to Six Flags just so a guy in a Bruins jersey can drip sweat on me while we wait in line for the Goliath. It's Marla. She's been out to get me since forever because I get to dye my hair and her dad won't let her. Like, sorry you have some president's daughter complex just because you're the heiress to Six Flags. You're not Tasha and you're definitely not Malia, so sit down. <sighs> I heard she's inbred. She's rich and from Massachusetts, so probably. I also heard that she shares a bed with her cousins when they spend the summers in Hyannis Port. Yeah, I heard that too. <sighs> I'm just mad because I finally got tall enough to ride the Superman. Bro, I've been tall enough since the third grade. We get it, you hit puberty early. Congrats on the training bra, psycho. Oh my God. <laughs> I bet Marla never had that problem. <sighs> she looks like a jewel pod. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute covered jewel. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> <sighs> I have no idea what we're gonna do this summer. No, like, what am I supposed to do? Instagram stalk Marla and her blonde leg hair? I already do that. Agawam, Massachusetts was created for one reason and one reason only. Six Flags New England. The Pilgrims literally escaped persecution so they could have dangerous but legalized fun. I heard an old guy got decapitated when he was on the Superman. That's what happens when you get old. You get osteoporosis, and then you get boring. Okay. You know, maybe it's good we can't go again. Yeah, like, I always get so pissed whenever I see the other sixth graders there anyway. They're so gross, and their pubes are probably wilting in the heat. You know what? I'm happy we can't go again. Yeah. Akawam is the definition of a leaky ball sack. We're too good for this place. We deserve an intact ball sack. One day, we're gonna, we're gonna get to Boston and never see another state again for the rest of our lives. <laughs> that is God's master plan for us, Roxanne. I can feel it. Me too. Marla Perrier posted a new photo. Oh my God. <laughs> the Lord has not prepared me for this, Liliana. Is that a yacht? Where did she get a yacht in Agawam? <laughs> she is so fucking rich. She probably has a bidet that uses LaCroix to clean her asshole. Oh, oh God, she makes me so mad. Oh, me too. And I didn't have a real reason until today. Same, like I've always had this faceless hatred towards her, but now it's personal. It's almost like she ripped us away from the ticket booth with her own bare hands. At Marla, the heiress is now verified. She's verified! Oh, that dumb bitch just jack shit! This is the straw that broke the camel's back. <laughs> the final punch that killed Houdini! This is the metal pole that broke Nancy's knees. The classist system that tore Tanya down! This is the plight of every woman. <sighs> That's it. I'm DMing her. I'm literally fuming. No balls, you won't. I will. I am a woman who will never enter a Six Flags again. I am a woman scorned. Okay. Hey, do you remember when Ask FM was a thing? Oh my God, you were so funny on that. Yeah, I literally messaged Janine, I want to milk your titties. <laughs> <laughs> that was insane of you. Yeah. Her answer was just, I'm telling my parents. <laughs> Your message has been sent. Oh my god, no, 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 I didn't actually ever mean to send it. No, what did you say? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You are a girl that has no heart. 
One day you will see that we are Agawam sisters. I pray for you. Also, your boobs look weird. You should just get a boob job, but just fix your nipples. I never wanted to go to Six Flags anyway. Yeah, the thing is, that doesn't even make sense. Bro! Yeah, like, there are so many other things that you could have said. I'm a good person, Roxanne! Okay, yeah, but you called her an inbred jewel pod like two minutes ago. <laughs> okay, well, jewels have disrupted the cigarette industry. We were on track to be the generation that beat big tobacco. <laughs> Aww. Well, okay, if I wrote it, I would have said, you are an inbred jewel pod with misshapen areolas. Probably because your mom smoked American spirits while she was pregnant with you. <laughs> we are the generation to beat cigarettes. <laughs> you are dumb and also ugly. <laughs> That's what I would have said. Okay, well, well, yours has a positive message too. Yeah, I don't know why we're like this. Well, it ended on a really strong note, though. Not only is this the worst attempt at cyberbullying I've ever seen, and I've seen Emily Osment in cyberbully three times, your message only reflects your inability to internalize the world around you in a mature manner. We are women, and we have a duty to raise each other up, not tear each other down. That goes for my nipples, too. I like the way they're shaped. Also, I will post your message, and you will be hearing from my lawyers. No. My lawyers are Brandy Melville models who sponsor my content. Okay, 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 okay. I know this looks really bad for you. It's terrible. Okay, yeah, but they're literally insta-famous. It's not like they can do any real harm. You're fine. As a girl who codes, I'm prepared to hack into any and all of your accounts. No. I'll leak your embarrassing fifth grade chain emails. No. We've found everything. I've got your text to your mom about not understanding tampons. <laughs> you pad using head ass. No. The world did not know I used pads. Wait, you still use pads? <laughs> They're just so much easier. <laughs> That's like really embarrassing for you. Roxanne, please! Okay, 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 If, okay, if, okay, um, if they're just gonna find dirt on you, mm, we're just gonna find dirtier dirt. I'm taking a Google. We're not girls who code, Roxanne. How can we compete with this? The Perrys are rich and thin. There's like a million things about them online. Okay, I need you to go full Perez Hilton on this. Okay. Okay, okay. Got it. Right off the bat, we got romance troubles. In 2016, Marla broke up with her now ex-boyfriend, Doug Leon, after she caught him making out with her t his two Rottweilers, Stewie and Jim. That's not embarrassing, Roxanne. She kissed someone. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, but like, it ended really badly. She didn't even go to his funeral last fall. Oh, damn, that's tragic. He died so young. No, he was 26. <laughs> okay, so like, ancient. Old. Yeah, literally. We will all cyberbully you until you have a lifetime of internalized self-hatred. You will spend years upon years going to expensive therapists and in a nation with shit healthcare that will have immense financial consequences. So right. Marla is sexy and rich. You are neither of those things. Live, laugh, Aries underwear brand. Sponsor skinny tummy tea and grow up. Okay. We need to go for the full Perrier clan if this is gonna work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, got it. Do you remember Miss Hot Woman number one? Yeah, she was the hottest 30-year-old typist Western Mass has ever seen. May her soul be at rest. Okay, okay, yeah. Well, she was also the secretary of Mr. Theobald Perrier. Yeah, Marla's dad. Yeah, and also... His lover. Uh, yeah, obviously. What? Roxanne, our moms are in the same book club as Marla's mom. Everyone knows this. Mom! Yes, honey? Wasn't Theobald boning his secretary? Why, of course. Everyone in the O001 zip code knows. If I had a secretary, I'd do the same thing. OK, bye, mom. <laughs> Damn, OK. Wait, no, this is good. It wrecked a family, Liliana. No, 
Two Perrier <gasps> adjuncts are now dead. That's fishy. Fishy like bacterial vaginitis. <laughs> we need to ditch the Perriers and go for Six Flags as a whole if this is gonna work. Oh shit, Liliana, this is like hot of you. Roxanne, you are a young girl with an internet connection. Use the gift the good Lord gave you. Yeah, you're a young woman too though. Well, yeah, but it's like different. Okay. Okay, I asked you Miami this. Both Doug Leon and the secretary died at Six Flags. Miss Hot Woman number one drowned at the opening of Roaring Rapids. And Doug Leon, he was hit by the Superman. And then if you chart it on this map that I made, it all happened at the same Six Flags. <laughs> okay, you didn't need a map to know that though. It looks cool, idiot. This is the craziest part. Okay, yeah. The decapitated grandpa, he was on the Twisted Colossal. Grandpas don't belong on a Twisted Colossal. Exactly, but they let him ride. You know what? We need to push a T her Drake. I'm taking this to my Insta wait, story. Wait, wait, what? Push a T her Drake. I don't know what that is. Pusha T literally dropped a song that was just a list of every fault that Drake has ever made, including but not limited to a son born out of wedlock. <laughs> That's not a known <laughs> reference. Whatever, I'm taking it to my Insta story. Okay. <laughs> Hello, world and Brandy Mel Mel Melville models. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Me Melville models. It has recently come to my attention that the Perrier name has been tainted like a taint. The intersection of the butthole and the vagina. We are looking at a series of deaths at the original Six Flags location. Numerous people who wronged the Perrier dynasty faced bloody death by roller coaster decapitation. A string of seemingly unrelated safety accidents now suggest a pattern of premeditated murder at the hands of Six Flags patriarch, Mr. Theobald Perrier. <laughs> oh my God, so many notifications are coming in. This is becoming like a thing. People deserve to know the truth. Yeah, but how do we know it's true? I Googled it. <laughs> Liliana. I am defending your honor, okay? okay? Yeah. We're doing this together. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hello, Roxanne. My name is Case Lantern, and I'm reaching oh. out to you in response to your claims oh. against the Perrier family. Oh my god, that's that's Case Lantern from BuzzFeed Unsolved. He's the he's the ultimate 14-year-old intern. He's so powerful. No, Roxanne, we're so powerful. What do I say to him? I don't Hey butches. I'm reaching out to you personally on behalf of my family. I hate you both and think you're ugly and will never forgive you for those comments about my nipples. That's a very personal insecurity of mine. However, for the sake of my family, I can work to reach an agreement with you. If you stop this live stream and promise not to work with any news organizations, including but not limited to Case Lantern from BuzzFeed Unsolved, we will offer you a lifetime pass to any Six Flags in the entire world, and you two can be a part of the grand opening of Agawam's newest roller coaster, the Yeti. You would be the first ones to ride it, and this would all be for free. We really just want this to blow over. It's causing a strain on a very real family that's trying to navigate personal life in the world of big business and fame. Please don't make this any harder than it needs to be. I'm putting aside my own problems for the sake of my fellow Perriers, and I hope you can understand. Okay, wait, that actually sounds kind of nice. Get your head out of your perfect gymnastics ass. Marla is not nice. This is urgent. Please do not share this message as it includes sensitive content. A few years back, when I was 11, I received an email from a woman who claimed that the Perrier family had a hand in her sister's untimely death. She was a blogger and her final post was about Six Flags food stands. I didn't take her claim seriously because her profile picture was a photoshopped picture of a sexy minion. But now, I feel I have made a terrible mistake. What you know could save the lives of Six Flags patrons and more critically, Perrier family adversaries. Roxanne, I trust Case. He's 14, an intern, and a YouTuber. This is just some quick screen grab for him. How could he be earnest? I don't... Okay, well then... I... I really think Marla will work with us. She's Agawam through and through, and she cares about her family. Bruh, 
It's the summer. It's a new ride. Don't you get it? Okay, no. We are the next beheading. It's always someone too close to the family. The person that case mentioned, she was a blogger, and her last review before her death was about the sanitation violations she found at Six Flags. That's such a stupid thing for a blogger to write about. Please respond urgently. We would love to give you this opportunity, but we need to act fast. Oh, I've always wanted to be her friend. Let's just trust her. If you reach out right now, this is the end for both of us. Your message has been sent. Lily? I am not going to die in Western Mass. This is so stupid of you. Oh, I'm trying uh, to be nice. Fuck off. Too late, small nips. I've gone ahead and started publishing stories without you guys. You're welcome to subscribe and comment, but the public deserves information. This has been Case Unsolved. Breaking news. Marla Perry ain't missing. Two lamos involved. Bruh. Jesus Christ, bruh. I feel like she's definitely fine, though. Dude, what do you mean? She wants us dead and can actually make us dead. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna reach out to Case. I think okay. we need his help. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. <coughs> Sorry, kiddos. The clicks are coming in hot, and a final death would be the perfect ending for this story. You missed the boat, but feel free to tune in. What does he mean, kiddos? He's literally a year older than us. <laughs> There's literally no way they can kill us. Ah! Don't come in! Hey, kiddo. Sorry to scare you. I'm not really good at the mean parent thing. I feel bad for grounding you. So there are some fresh cookies with your name on them in the kitchen. Oh, hey, Roxanne. I had a feeling you'd be on the line. Just wanted to let you girls know to stay safe. Your classmate Marla is missing. It's a scary world out there. Even old people know now. Oh my god, my mom just sent me a freaking Huffington Post article. That means everybody knows. Uh. Breaking, Theobald Perrier found decapitated at Six Flags, New England. Ah! Okay, 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 um, okay. Um, what? Okay. Uh, oh okay. my god, okay, okay. Lily, Lily, come here right oh, now. Yeah. Come here right now, right now, come here. What? This is what we're working with. <sighs> This isn't glee, Roxanne. This is serious. I need to visualize the decapitation if we're going to make any progress. OK, fine. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, sluts. This is what we're working with. OK, it's true. Theobald has been decapitated. Just like two out of Henry VIII's six wives. And the ugly oh, tween God. from Hereditary. We've been on the case since the beginning, and we're not leaving you guys hanging now. Until recent theories suggested that Theobald was responsible for all the Six Flags decapitations. But why would a man decapitate himself on Catwoman's whip? That's simply no way to go. At least die on the Superman. Like a classic game of Mafia, we have misidentified the killer. But <laughs> the deaths still remain tied to the family. Next likely suspect, Theobald's wife, Queef Perrier. Queef Perrier. Queef. Queef. Thank you. Thank you. As first lady, she had to protect her husband's throne. We implore the police to take her in for a question. And we implore TMZ to follow this with cameras because we are still grounded. Marla Perrier started a live video. Uh, 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 uh. I'm hungry. These are the scissors that I have for building openings. Oh my I'm so rich that I have these scissors on hand just in case. <gasps> what? Oh. My. God. What? Okay, so the only murder we didn't understand was the grandpa, and he was Marla's pony wrangler. Okay. Marla is the murderer! What? No, she's oh my not. god. This is the wire that controls the internet. I'm cutting it now! Oh my god, can you hear me? Oh my god. Listen to me! I forgot everyone in Agawam has T-Mobile! Back this family plan! Okay, okay, okay.
All we need is a girl who codes, and the internet will be back up, and everything will be okay. <laughs> the world is ending. Mm. Okay, this isn't a huge deal. <gasps> well, Liana could be dead for all I know. I'm okay with waiting. <laughs> Marley could be coming after me. What's up? <laughs> Dude, we live in the same apartment building. <laughs> Fire! Do I look like a girl who's gonna stop, uh, drop, and roll? Uh, Oh my God, we're back online. <laughs> oh, thank God. Hey, babies and sluts. I, I own T-Mobile too, it's, it's just me. Atlantic pony. The, the, the food blogger was going to ruin our health license. The secretary was going to ruin mama. And then Doug Leon was going to ruin my heart. Mm. I will never forget you, Doug. But I will never forgive you either. I did it all for daddy. But then he buffooned himself saying that he was going to capsize our empire. Capsize it! Like a yacht! Like a yacht I share with my cousins! Oh, I knew it. And so he had to say goodbye. All of Six Flags is highly flammable. Oh. It's gone too far. And now we say goodbye. Fuck. Breaking. Six Flags New England burns down. Oh my god. R.I.P. Six Flags. I love your rides in your Cold Stone Creamery. I'll miss going to you with my youth group and I'll pray you go to heaven, but I don't know if Six Flags has a soul. <gasps> OMG, you guys. Did Marla actually die? Or is this a pretty little liar situation? I think Marla died, you guys. R.I.P. to a legend. Go rest in heaven with your adult boyfriend. <laughs> R.I.P. Marla, I'll miss you. I'd pray you go to heaven, but I don't know if you have a soul. We did this. The blood is on our hands. Yeah, we like really didn't have to do this. The truth had to come out, Roxanne. Who could have been next? Me. You. A sexy Instagram model that doesn't even use Facetune. <sighs> No sexy person deserves to die. Yeah, what about Marla, though? Well, she was, like, too sexy for high school yearbooks, but not sexy enough for Instagram modeling. Sad. Sad. Mm, I kind of want to go to Sky Zone. Oh, <laughs> my God. I need to decompress. That was literally so much all at once. And we're... We're still grounded, even though we stopped crime. <sighs> Do you think we're still banned from Six Flags, even though it burnt down all the way to the ground? I feel like that's kind of a gray area. Yeah, a gray area. Just like Marla's adult boyfriend's pubic hairs. Oh my god, Roxanne, I feel like that's a little bit disrespectful. Uh, what is she going to do? Cuss me out on a Ouija board? <laughs> <sighs> Do you really think she died in her own arson? That would be such a party foul. Authorities are searching for the body of teenage heiress Marla Perrier. Oh, I want to be the body of a teenage heiress. Oh, me too. She had such a wealthy physique. I'm going to miss her. Yeah, me too, but like in a performative way that gets me likes on Instagram. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Goodbye, Marla. We had one class together for two weeks when you studied abroad at public school. I wish you were still here to give me a concussion with your real Louis Vuitton bag. I'll miss you forever. God wanted you back. Hmm. Hey, it was really cool when you connected all those dots. <gasps> on my map? I told you that was sick. No, head ass, not on your map. When you figured out that Marla was a murderer, but like only a minute before she announced it. Oh yeah, that was cute. Hey, do you want to watch the rest of Six Flags Burn Down? It's kind of like that scene from the Florida Project. 
<laughs> oh yeah, it kind of is. Except we're comfortably middle class. <laughs> Marla Perrier started a live video. Hi, butches. I didn't die yet. Catwoman's whip launched me away from the hands of God. Oh!